Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are a returning friend, family member, subscriber, I'm so glad you decided to come back and thank you for being part of my little family here on YouTube. I'm so thankful for you. Um, I have another She Reads Truth unboxing today and um, I actually got this in the mail this week. So this is the next study i know um i literally just did praying through the psalms a week ago this is the one that um is next i did like i said i did get it in the mail this week so i wanted to go ahead and get this unboxed and if it looks like something you're interested in then you have plenty of time to go ahead and be ordering it um so you'll have it in time to start the study with the community if that is something that you want to do so here's my lovely little box beauty, goodness, and truth. Here's the tape. Let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, so this one is Ezra. Go ahead and take all this out. Get this out of the way. All right, so this, like I said, is Ezra. This plan begins on September the 4th, so you have plenty of time to go ahead and order this if you want to have this in time to start it with the community. I do like, again, that on your little card, your upcoming books uh, in September, we've got Judges and October, Give Thanks. And look at this, you guys. Your November study that you will have available is Advent 2023. I'm so excited. Last year um, for Advent, that's when I started the subscription box. Um, so be on the lookout because I will go ahead and I'm actually probably going to do some add-on products for the advent and then i also did a comparison on the daily grace co advent study versus she reads truth and i got some comments on that so i do plan on doing that again so again coming up in november be on the lookout for advent 2023 all right so and then on the back it talks about the reading schedule and I do like how you have that. Um, if you want more information about the Grace Weeks, you've got that little QR code. I don't know if you want to pause the video and scan it. There you go. And do notice here, I do how I do like how it's got actual dates. So November 13th through December 3rd is your gift thanks study. So that will get you through Thanksgiving. And then right when it's time to start Advent. So you go literally from Give Thanks into Advent. So be on the lookout. All right, so this is the Ezra study. Let's go ahead and unpackage it. Oh, love the green. All right, so this one is Ezra Repairing Ruins. Ruins, however you pronounce that. All right, so this is Historical. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and do a review. You have your presentation page here, so you can write your name and your start date. And again, I always want to remind you, you do not have to start this with the community. If you are involved in other studies, you can absolutely do this study whenever you want to. Um, I obviously I'm involved in other studies. I did a video last week on the Bible studies that I'm involved in this fall. So I will not be doing the She Reads Truth studies with the community because I have other studies I'm involved in. I do like to have these. So when I am, you know, when I'm just kind of looking for something different to do, or I'm not involved in a study with a group and I want to do something on my own, I have these that I can pull off my shelf and I have them available to do at any time I want to. Okay, moving on. Just a little bit of information. Ezra Repairing Ruins, title page. Um, letter from the editor. And this is from one of the founders, Rachel Myers. No relation, by the way. Keep your eyes up at the yet unfulfilled promises God has made. And then here is your design on purpose. So this tells you why they chose the color scheme and the palette that they did, um, the images that they chose, the whole nine yards. 
So they really put a lot of thought in the design of these books. All right, how to use this book. You've got some scripture reading, um, response, grace day, weekly truth, and your extras section. This is a two-week study, so this is a little bit shorter. So if you need something that's just a little bit lightweight, just something short to bridge the gap between something, this might be an option for you. Uh, week one, you've got Return from Exile, The Exiles Who Returned, Rebuilding Begins, Opposition to Rebuilding, Rebuilding Resumed, Grace Day Weekly Truth, Week two, Dedication of the Temple, Ezra's Arrival, Preparing to Return to Jerusalem, Ezra's Confession, the People's Repentance, Grace Day, Weekly Truth, and then here is your list of extras. Starting off, as you get into the study, this is one of your extras. This is talking about She Reads Ezra. This is on the timeline. You've got some background information. You have the message and purpose of Ezra and give thanks for the book of Ezra. You have a key verse from Ezra 3.11. This tells you that the time to read Ezra is 40 minutes. And day one, return from exile. So you've got scripture. You have a ton of room over here to take notes. And I do love that about the She Reads Truth studies. Your paper quality is just like it's a thicker quality paper, but it is um, perfect for taking notes. You can use different type of pens or highlighters on this. And I have not found anything to smear um, or have difficulties with that. And then your going deeper passages, they usually have scripture from other books of the Bible. So here you've got Jeremiah and you have Psalms. Look at this big, beautiful page to take notes, and you even have some note page space down here. You can date it, so you can actually date when you start, um, or each day as you go through. Day two, the, re the exiles who returned. So you have a lot of scripture. Now, I do want you to notice, you have a lot of the people's names. The number of the Israelite men included, and it goes through their descendants and the numbers. And you keep on going down to verse 67. You're going deeper. You're in Deuteronomy and Zechariah. And again, you have tons of room for notes. So if you're struggling with some information that you may not find um, in the community study, this would be a great opportunity to pull out a commentary and start making some notes. If you like to do the inductive Bible study, this is easy where you can pull out your color pencils to mark your keywords. Highlighters are also good to use in these books. All right, here is another extra, Exiles and Returns. All right, this tells you the group, the king that they were under, and your scripture references. These are your dates. Exiles, northern kingdom of Israel exiled from the promised land to Assyria. Your southern kingdom of Judah exiled from the promised land to Babylon. And then this tells you about the returns. All right, rebuilding. This takes you to finish up Ezra chapter 2. And you are starting in Ezra chapter 3. You're going deeper. You have some Deuteronomy and Hebrews. And again, a full page to take notes with a place to date it. And I'm going to kind of start um, speeding up. Day 4 is opposition to the rebuilding. You've got Ezra 4, 1 through 23. You're going deeper. Notes page. Day five, rebuilding resumed. You're going deeper, Haggai. You've got two different sets of scripture from Haggai and then some scripture from Ephesians. 
And then you have your week one response. So you have reflection questions, room to write your answers, and then a place to pray. This is your grace day. Here is a scripture verse if you want to work on some memorization. You can also go back and finish some of the study that you may not have gotten to on your grace day. Weekly truth. Now this is um, one of the verses that they specifically have set aside for you to memorize. And I've seen this verse a couple times actually already in this study. And then let's talk about day eight. We're getting into week two. So Ezra chapter six, going deeper scripture, you have some Old Testament and some New Testament, New Testament scripture to read and refer back to. Here's another extra. This is Ezra in context. So um, it says, as you read the book of Ezra, it's helpful to orient yourself to where these events fit in with the greater narrative of redemptive history. The following passages, I'm sorry, the following pages outline the, mo the movements of God and his people, tracing his initial promise in the garden to the restoration of his chosen nation in the book of Ezra and the full restoration of humanity provided by Jesus. So you've got a title and you've got scripture, title, scripture, title, scripture. And then it just keeps going. So let me just read the, the titles. You've got the promise with Adam and Eve, the patriarchs, the exodus and covenant renewal, provision of the promised land, rebellion, the cycles of rebellion and exile, restoration, return to the land, Jesus and his church, and the new creation. So this would actually be a really good reference and resource to use if you think about the overall timeline of scripture. Um, all right, moving on, we've got day nine, and day nine starts with Ezra seven. Let me see how far it went into Ezra six. Yep. Okay, so kind of like with Romans, and I haven't, do not quote me on this, but I feel like the entire book of Ezra is here. It is in Romans. Somebody asked that question. So I took out my Bible and I literally went through each day of the study um, to make sure that all of the study versus the scripture, all of the book of Romans is in the book of Romans study. And I feel like it's looking the same with Ezra. All right, you have your going deeper scriptures. Again, a beautiful page to take notes. Or again, if you are artistic and do art journaling, all kinds of space right there. Preparing to return, day 10 goes through Ezra 8. You've got going deeper scriptures. Again, places to take notes. Ezra's Confession. This is Ezra chapter 9. Going deeper. Place to take notes. Corporate worship as an extra. You've got what corporate worship in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. The people's repentance in Ezra 10. More going deeper scripture, place to take notes, and a week to response, and then a grace day, weekly truth. This is that same key verse that you are to memorize. Benediction. All right, and then at the very end of the book, uh, I do like to point this out. Tips for memorizing scripture. Study it, pray it, write it, create, say it, share it, keep at it. And then your abbreviations. Talking about the subscription box. And then for the record, when you do this study, you just spent 14 days in the Word of God. And you got some little questions that you can answer to help you recall what you learned. Now, I let me just tell you, I did another study years ago um, and it drew me into Ezra in a way that I never thought about. 
Um, and Ezra chapter 9 and chapter 10 rocked my world. It rocked my world. Um, one of the things it pointed out, um, and it, this is what I loved, and it literally is the confession of Ezra. When I heard this report, and he's list, talking about the report of what he had just heard, um, it says, I tore my tunic and robe, pulled out some of the hair from my head and beard, and sat down devastated. And it's talking about when he heard the report of the sin of the people. That was his response. And the confession of Ezra, you guys, it rocked my world because it, it made me think about do we have the same kind of response to sin that Ezra had um, for the people in this time? And then I'm just going to leave it. Go and read Ezra 9 and 10. Um, the response to sin and then the confession and they took care of it. That is such a big deal. That's why Ezra, like I could go back to Ezra 9 and 10 and I actually try to have those passages marked in multiple Bibles because it is key. What is our response to sin? Does it wreck us? Do we literally cry because of our sin? How do we view it? What do we do with it? What's our response to it? Um, so yeah, I just really think that understanding um, those last few days in the book of Ezra is a big deal. So that is the review of the book of Ezra. It is short. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found the review of the She Reads Truth study on the book of Ezra helpful, informative, whatever. But I do, I'm telling you, if you don't read anything else in Ezra, make sure you read Ezra 9 and 10, the response to sin and the confession and how they uh, approached the repentance. So go check that out, I'm telling you. And then think about what is your response to sin. Guys, I love you. I'm thankful for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. I don't have to tell you what to do. You already know. And I hope to see you back. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.